Camp Davis, North Carolina, the Coast Artillery Board is testing two types of barrage balloons. The one shown here is known as the Ballonet type. This one is called the delatable type. It maintains its shape and pressure on the gas by means of an internal elastic rigging. All the steps involved in unpacking the balloon, inflating it, and sending it up are demonstrated. The ballonet type is used in this demonstration. First, an area 200 feet in diameter has been thoroughly cleared as the site for the balloon inflation. The surrounding area for about 225 feet has also been cleared of all tall objects. The men lay out a canvas ground cloth on the balloon bed in order to provide a clear, non-abrasive surface for the bag. The entire balloon is transported in this compact wooden box. The small one on top contains the pressure release valve. The box is brought to the edge of the ground cloth. The lid is removed, and the balloon is carefully unpacked. The small packages contain the various accessories for the balloon. care must be observed in handling the bag in order to prevent scratches or tears. All shoes are removed as an additional precaution when the men are spreading the balloon over the ground cloth. After all accessories and valves have been installed, one end of the inflation tube is fastened to the appendix. The other end is fastened to an air blower. The 
envelope is inflated to about two-thirds its full capacity. A man then enters the gas chamber through the appendix. takes an inspection lamp with him to check the internal rigging and examine the envelope for leaks. Any holes that are located are patched on the inside. In the meantime, the cylinders of helium gas, which will be used in this demonstration, are being prepared for the inflation. The inspection is completed. then forced out through the appendix in this manner, after which the bag is then spread back once more over the ground cloth. to the gas cylinders by means of rubber tubes. One end of the inflation tube is fastened to the manifold. purged from the inflation tube and manifold by short blasts of helium gas. When this is accomplished, the tube is pinched near the opposite end to exclude the air, and the end then fastened to the appendix. Everything is now in readiness for the introduction of helium into the envelope. When hydrogen is used, a fire trap, as shown here, is installed midway between the cylinders and the balloon as a safety device in case of fire. The cylinder valves are then opened. sandbags is placed about one-third back from the nose to control the gas as it enters the balloon. They are moved back gradually. After the envelope has been inflated with gas from the proper number of cylinders, it is allowed to rise from the bed. This ballonet type contains two compartments, a gas chamber in the upper portion for helium or hydrogen and an air chamber in the lower portion. The two chambers are separated by a diaphragm which moves up and down as the gas contracts or expands. At this stage, the air scoop for the rudder is installed. is then weighed off to determine the net lift. This is done by hanging sandbags of known weight on the junction piece until equilibrium is reached. The balloon is 
then moved to the winch that will be used in raising it. Meanwhile, the second balloon, called the delatable type, has also been inflated in a similar manner. Returning once again to the first balloon, the sandbags are removed from the junction piece, which is attached to the cable. The ripcord is also attached to the cable below the safety device. The ascent begins. allowed to rise by paying out the cable from the winch until the desired altitude is reached. that is employed in raising the delatable balloon. in place by the single cable from the winch to the junction piece. This cable provides the hazard for enemy airplanes. The balloon is hauled down by taking up on the winch. from the junction piece, and the crew maneuvers the balloon back to the balloon bed. It is forced down low enough to attach sandbags to the bridles. are securely fastened to screw pickets and the rigging band is attached to the ground rigging. The balloon is finally bedded down and the crew moves off. 